do it to themselves. They can be authentic with themselves. And one thing I do with pretty much all of my clients is I teach them meditation. And meditation, really what it does is it builds a curiosity towards oneself. And it lets it gives oneself a tool to look at what the internal experience is. And a lot of times that internal experience is actually very contradictory to how we think we should feel. We often feel things that are kind of weird. You know, like maybe we feel disgusted when we think we should feel happy. Mm -hmm. Maybe we feel angry when we think we should feel sad. And by bringing curiosity and bringing what's called Maitri or self-love um, to those experiences, we can actually start to be in a relationship with them instead of trying to change them or fight them or, or numb them out through substance use. Um, we can actually really look, tap into the wealth of our own experience and, and the information that lies in there to make decisions that are really in line with that kind of spiritual level that you're talking about. Um, to make decisions that if you go against the um, uh, status quo, that are in line with who we are and, and what we believe and what's best for us. And that's what I like to empower my clients to do, is to really, first and foremost, just care about themselves. Just really be curious about their own experience and, and bring self-love to themselves because that's that's so lacking. It's so lacking in, in our society. We're such an aggressive people, you know. But, and what a skill to get. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. what a skill to relearn because it's something that we kind of probably recognize yeah, and, I believe in that wholeheartedly. And then when you are sharing it with an individual, and they, they're kind of coming back home in, in a sort of – coming back home, it seems to be. I like that. What you're yeah. inviting people to do. Yeah. As, as, as children, we don't really care, you know. But as we age, we get kind of battered down with these cultural messages. Um, this is a little bit uh, sarcastic, but one of my friend's definition of marketing – is you convince uh, your client that they have a problem and then you sell them the solution. <laughs> and, you know, that, that's a little heavy-handed, but it's like, I think there's some truth to that, where we were convinced that we have all these problems by society, mm -hmm. and we don't. <laughs> you know, we really don't. That is so awesome. So uh, let's say that I have some uh, clients, or some clients, let's say that I have some listeners who are, who's mm -hmm. listening to you right now, Mark, and saying, you know what? Jiminy Christmas, I, I would like to give him a call. I'd like to get in contact with Mark uh, to see what I could, maybe I can talk to him about uh, my life or my addictions or, um, yeah. you know, how, how do people get a hold of you? Yeah, so um, the best way, perhaps the fastest way is to go on my website, which is mark, M-A-R-C, dash Azule, A-Z-O-U-L-A-Y dot com. And that has a little bit about me. It has my bio. Um, there's a blog there, which I update every week, which is kind of my thoughts on, you know, mental health topics, addiction, stuff like that. Um, and then there's an email link so they can email me through there with me. Um, if they'd like to see what I want to say, they could either like me on Facebook, um, or look at my Twitter, um, which is kind of more updates. It's not the kind of death you'll get from a kind of one-on-one -on -one talk, but it's just kind of thoughts that I like to put out there and, and, you know, kind of do my part to kind of, shift the culture around mental illness and around kind of motivation if possible. Yeah, mental illness is a misnomer, isn't it? It is. It is such a crippling issue. Um, just just the labels that we put on each other um, and that are put on us is, is bad. <laughs> you know, it's really, really limiting. Well, how, how, about if we, how about you and I just change it right now? Let's call it mental growth. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll call it mental growth. All right, cool. Um, all right. Yeah, you know, we're, we're all we're all works in progress. You know, that's the thing. It's like we're all works in progress, and we get this cultural message like we have to be perfect, we have to be done, we have to be strong, and it's like no. You know, it's like sometimes you have to be strong, mm -hmm. and that's good. But we have to bring that compassion to ourselves and realize that like everyone's trying their best here. Mm -hmm. Everyone's a work in progress, and we can keep progressing. And and I'm sure that that's kind of a very healing part of society when we have more and more people who are given the gift or the invitation to become more human in our perfect society. Yeah. yeah. And drop that, that are yeah. allowed to be themselves. Yeah. Dropping the labeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And being being like the messy things that we are, you know, the messy, confused <laughs> creatures that we are. Like, if we could just stop pretending that we had all our shit together, uh -huh. we'd probably get something done. Yeah, well, there we go. And so, <laughs> as, and so what, what I'm going to do here, Mark, is I'm going to um, place your links next to the broadcast. And so, listeners, if you just look right next to the broadcast, you'll be able to see the links. 
uh, go ahead and click on that, and it'll bring you right to Mark's uh, website. And, and Mark, what is your bottom line message that you would like to deliver to humanity? Yeah, my bottom line message would be learn to listen, to spend time listening, um, you know, first to yourself and then to other people. I've so, so many of my clients come in, they talk about not feeling connected and, and not feeling a part of something. And a lot of it's they get in their own way. You know, we, we, we have our own agendas, we have our own thoughts, we have our own assumptions. And by truly listening and opening up, we can be in this place of vulnerability and be in this place of connection. Um, and what can come out of that is actually beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. Um, so yeah, learning how to listen and, and, and being curious about your own experience and the people's experiences because you deserve it. You deserve your full attention, essentially. So listen to yourself and others. You heard it directly from Mark Azulay. Yeah. And Mark, you know what? I, I extend a very heartfelt welcome for you to join us in the future where we can talk about in-depth topics of recovery, psychotherapy, and consciousness. Absolutely. I would love to do that. Okay, listeners, you heard it for yourself. Until next time. This is Slade Suter. Be authentic, be true, listen to yourself and others, and be free. Slade Suter Live. There was an idea bring together a group of remarkable people. Who are these people? Authenticity Radio. Stimulating and transparent. Real people and real authentic talk. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get real. What are you prepared to do? Guys, I'm bringing the party to you. Slade Suter Live. Real people and real authentic talk. This is Authenticity Radio.